Hi ladies and gentlemen, welcome to IT Snippets today. I'm going to upgrade this old gaming laptop by adding an SSD, some more RAM, and I'm going to turn it in to a Hyper-V host for virtualization. So let's get started. First thing we'll have to do is flip it over. Now this bottom part appears to be in sections. As you can see I've made a hole in my warranty screw or my warranty seal already. Let's just zoom in a little if I can. Just a little bit. Okay. So if I was to take a guess it'd be here. Here and here because that one's got a little keyboard logo that one's got a little drive logo so let's break out my toolkit and check it out our IP headphone users I'm only using overhead cam at the moment just to simplify things and Spike saying hello because I've started recording and that's when he decides to talk I'm just going to try a star bit, see if this works. Okay. And this side here. And here. We'll have to take the battery out, so we do that by pushing these and lifting up here. Now, hopefully, this just lifts off. There we go. We'll give MSI one thing the return process may be crap here in the UK, but they do generally make their laptops accessible. Okay, so now that we're in, we have our hard drive sitting here. And we have our RAM stick sitting here. Now it looks like normally I would use the same RAM. This appears to be a data RAM, but I couldn't find a data RAM, so I'm going to try this integral RAM. So I'm going to pop the RAM stick out that's in it. Just wriggle it out. There we go. I'm going to try and put it in the slot below. And then press it down. And I'll take our new RAM. Which I actually appear to have to cut out. That's the first time I've seen that. Oh no, it's just very tight. There we go. This is another 8 gig stick, so this will take this machine up to 16 gig. Again, just line it up with a notch, push down. Wait for it to go down and then press down till it clicks. So that was nice and easy. This is now a 16 gig system. So looking at the SSD, it looks like these two hold them on hold it on here. And it should just lift out. So let's take these screws out and find out. Considering this is a five-year-old laptop, that fan is not actually as dirty as I would expect. So Okay, so I'll carefully try and lift this up. And go and wriggle it out. Okay, so as we can see now that I've got the hard drive out, it has its own little mounting system, but it appears to just be these two screws here. So we shall take those out. And it fell in this laptop there it's there. Careful, unlike I just was. 
and number two. I'll just slide that off. There we go. Now the reason I'm replacing this hard drive is because the loop is working. It was in fact ticking and when a hard drive starts to tick that's not a good sign. So we shall take we shall take our SSD because this is just going to be like a bog standard VMware system, eh, not VMware, Hyper-V system. I'm only using a WD Blue. This will be plenty fast enough for what I'm actually using it with. Okay, it says remove before installing. Well, considering it'd be struggle, you'd struggle to install it with that in. I can say that's probably a given. There we go. Now we need to take its bracket, place it on here. As you can see it uses the two bottom screws. And there's our first problem. This does not line up correctly. And the screw hole there. So I cannot use this bracket with it. You see? The screw hole's there, but the hole you'd normally put the screw in is there. So, unfortunately, that means I'm just going to have to YOLO it, so I'll take my drive, slide it in, and slide it down, and I can't secure it, unfortunately. I don't know why manufacturers do that, to be honest, their own little proprietary systems. Okay. So I now have my SSD installed, it's a little loose, not the best, I could probably tape it down but I don't have any tape at the moment, and my RAM installed. So let's get I'll actually place this back in here, if I can, even though I'm not connecting it. Because if I place that in there and screw it down, yes, spike, there we go, it will at least help keep it in place. Albeit not the perfect solution. Okay. Now that's done, take our back panel, place it back on. Push it down and then take our remaining screws. Which I can only see two of at the moment. Okay, so I have my screw, place it in the right hole, tighten it up, my next screw it. There we go. Now we need to plug it in and install Hyper-V. If you like this video, give it a like. If you dislike this video, give it a dislike too. If you get feedback on this or any other videos or suggestions for videos you believe we should do in the future, then please let us know in the comments below. And most of all, thank you for watching.